Hey everyone, I'm Mike Voth. I'm gonna to talk to you a little bit about barefoot running. Now, I've been a barefoot runner my whole life, or I'm sorry, I've been a runner my whole life, but about a year or two ago, I decided to get into barefoot running, so I'm gonna share some of my experiences with you. Um, first off, as a disclaimer, I'm not a doctor. I'm about as qualified as uh, Dr. Nick here to be doling out medical advice, so keep that in mind. Uh, also, if there's anyone out there with a foot fetish, uh, please try to control yourself. You're going to see a lot of eye candy tonight, so you've been warned. <laughs> On the flip side, uh, if you have a foot phobia, uh, I know it's a little weird, but I also know people have it. Uh, I'm sorry, just close your eyes for the next few minutes and you'll be okay. All right, well, a recent trend that many of you may have noticed, especially in an active town like Austin, is that it seems like a lot more people are starting to run barefoot. But it's funny that we, can cons that we consider this a new trend because people have been running barefoot for hundreds of thousands of years. Um, really, the new fad is the modern running shoe. The idea of covering our feet in uh, padding and support while running, this has only been around since the 1970s. But people will argue, they'll say, well, of course, uh, you know, our ancestors could run barefoot because they were trotting across grassy plains while modern humans are running in a concrete jungle, so we need all that padding and support. But as a matter of fact, all that padding in your shoe causes you to run differently and unnaturally. Um, and uh, the, the point I'm trying to make is that when you run barefoot, uh, it's, it, it's a more natural running style. When you, uh, your foot is designed to be a natural suspension system. So, um, and the secret is in the foot strike. Shod runners, or those who wear shoes, tend to land heel first. And with a heel strike, you experience a sudden impact in forces. And it's believed that these forces are absorbed by your joints and your bones, and they lead to uh, running injuries. On the other hand, a barefoot runner tends to land on the balls of their feet. This is known as a forefoot strike. And with a forefoot strike, the spring-like design of your foot slowly dissipates these forces over a slightly longer period of time. And a forefoot runner tends to have impact forces seven times lower than those um, who heel strike. And like I said, it's these constant impact forces uh, that you experience while running that are thought to lead to common running injuries such as stress fractures and uh, shin splints, etc. So when one speaks of barefoot running, it's acceptable to include those who wear um, minimal footwear. These thin-soled moccasin-like shoes provide protection from rocks, sticks, and glass, and anything you might step on while running, yet they still promote a natural running style. And biomechanically, running in minimal footwear is identical to running barefoot, and it's my personal choice uh, when, I, when I go out running. I like to run at night, so I don't want to worry about what I'm stepping on while I'm running, so these shoes are the, the perfect uh, compromise. There's a tribe in northern Mexico called the Tarahumara who are known for their prowess in long distance running. They run in these homemade uh, sandals you see here. They can run upwards of 100 miles at a time. And what's really amazing is they're doing this in their 60s. So they're doing something right. So why run barefoot? Well, to tell you the truth, it's a lot of fun. I was burnt out on running myself until I got into barefooting and it made me fall in love with the sport all over again. It also feels great. You have a lot of nerves on the bottom of your feet that get ignored when you're running in bulky shoes. Uh, will barefoot running prevent injuries? The medical community still debates on that fact, and there's ongoing studies on both sides of the topic. But the bottom line is studies show that running barefoot causes no more injuries than running with shoes on. Another question people ask is, will barefoot running make you faster? Well, it may make you run more efficiently, but don't expect to see any dramatic and, you know, decreases in your time. That's not what it's about. Barefoot running is really just a way to find a more enjoyable, natural way to run. So if you're thinking about getting started in barefoot running, the number one rule is start slowly. You can't go out and run the same number of miles as you would if you were wearing shoes, at least not right away. When you run barefoot, you use different muscles than you do when you run with shoes on, so you have to ease your way into it. There's lots of great resources online that can give you training advice and tips. And uh, you know, people will give you uh, some training programs that have worked for them transitioning into the sport. And there's also you know, um, good articles on studies on the topic so you can make, a, you know, make an informed decision. So you know, I challenge you to get out there and uh, just give it a shot. I mean, it's an easy sport to get into. All you have to do is take off your shoes and go. And 
You know, it makes me feel like a kid again when I run barefoot. So get out there, get your feet dirty, and run like never before. Thanks a lot.